weather alert. Good morning. At least five structures have been destroyed as a result of bushfires blazing out of control in Victoria. We're watching two bushfires with emergency warnings at the moment. One in the Bunyip State Forest just east of Melbourne near Jembrook. This particular bushfire is at emergency warning level. Authorities have advised that it is too late to leave and that you need to shelter somewhere safe indoors. The second bushfire is burning uh, in the Latrobe Valley. This fire is near Budgeree and people are being advised to evacuate uh, from their locations. Okay, let's take a look at the weather station nearby. This is at Warragul. The latest wind speed, 19 kilometres per hour, and it's at 30 degrees. It's going to be quite a hot day. Uh, we are then going to be seeing a cool change come through. Now, there's the Bunyip State Forest fire. You can see it on the radar imagery. Normally, we look at rain on the radar, but you can see a smoke plume here. We've also seen a couple of uh, lightning strikes throughout Victoria as well. Now, this trough, this spotted white, do a dotted white line is moving towards the east. That's our cool change. Behind it, we're going to see a wind direction change. That'll be moving over those fire grounds this evening uh, at some point. We'll keep you updated on that on Sky News Weather. We're also going to be seeing a cool change behind that trough. So tomorrow will be much cooler across Victoria. But in the meantime, a hot day today. We've got total fire bands right across Victoria and severe fire danger forecast for where that Bunyip State Forest fire is burning. It's over 4,500 hectares in size at the moment. Uh, also very high fire danger right across Victoria and also for some parts of South Australia. Let's talk about Hobart where it was hot yesterday. It was 39.1 degrees at a maximum. That was the hottest March day on record. It wasn't just Hobart that saw hot temperatures though. It was a hot day right across Tasmania to start off March and autumn. Cape Bruni had the highest temperature of 39.7 degrees. Uh, the last time Hobart also hit 39.1 was on the 4th of January 2013, but for March it hasn't been recorded before. Yesterday, Melbourne 36.3 degrees was your maximum, Adelaide 40.2 degrees. Today it's going to be a cooler day, but it'll still be hot before that cool change for some areas. Showers and thunderstorms uh, across the southeast. Not too many storms, just a couple uh, north and east of Hobart. We've seen a couple of thunderstorms there, but most of uh, the radar imagery is shower activity and quite light rain, particularly for southwestern regions of Victoria. There's that trough pushing towards the east. Possibility of showers and thunderstorms still remains for southeastern regions uh, of Australia. And we'll also see that cool change behind that, uh, that trough when it moves through. Showers, well, they continue across the east coast of the country. Take a look at the radar imagery throughout eastern Australia. The heaviest of the falls today will be the north, north uh, coastal regions of New South Wales. That'll be where we see the most frequent rainfall, but it's still a possibility throughout eastern parts of New South Wales as well as eastern regions of Queensland. Latest temperatures on the screen right now. Brisbane sitting at 24.5 degrees. In the centre, Alice Springs, 31 degrees. Broken Hill, 32.2. It remains dry about inland parts of the country. In fact, much of Australia does remain dry. Adelaide, 28 degrees. Melbourne, 30.3. And in the West, Perth, you're sitting at 18 degrees.